For the most part, hearing conversation is such an effortless task that we fail to realize just how amazing our ears really are. Our ears are not only capable of hearing 20,000 different pitches, but process the information in a fraction of a second so that we can identify the sounds, translate them into speech, and interpret speech as words. Your audiologist tested your hearing to see what pitches or sounds you cannot hear. In order to understand your hearing loss and its impact on your quality of life, let's talk about how the ear works. Sound waves travel through the ear canal and strike the tympanic membrane or eardrum. Attached to the eardrum are three tiny bones of the human ear, and they move with the vibration of the eardrum. These bones are called the malleus, incus, and stapes. The last bone, the stapes, pushes on a fluid-filled organ of the inner ear called the cochlea, causing fluid to move throughout the cochlea. This fluid movement causes sensitive hair cells within the cochlea to bend. When these hair cells bend, they generate an electrical signal that is sent along the nerve to the brain. Age, disease, injury, and excessive exposure to loud noises can damage these hair cells and other structures of the ear to cause hearing loss. There are two types of hearing loss. The first is sensorineural. A sensorineural hearing loss occurs when there is damage to the cochlea or inner ear. This damage may cause sound to be both muffled and distorted, resulting in difficulty understanding speech. Although amplifying the sound with a hearing aid will make the sound louder, it may not restore the clarity of speech if there is damage within the inner ear. The second type is conductive. A conductive hearing loss occurs when sound is not transmitted through the auditory system properly. You can think of this loss as a mechanical transmission problem. An example would be a buildup of fluid in the middle ear space caused by an ear infection. This fluid would hinder the sound from entering the inner ear properly. This will cause all sounds to be muffled. If sound is amplified with the use of a hearing aid, the extra power will allow the sound to overcome the obstruction and reach the undamaged inner ear or cochlea. Hearing loss may be a combination of both sensorineural and conductive loss. This is called a mixed loss. The severity of your hearing loss has been documented by your audiologist and has been plotted on a familiar sounds audiogram to help you better understand what speech and environmental sounds are affected by your hearing loss. Pitch or frequency runs across the bottom, from low pitch to high pitch, like a piano. Loudness runs along the side, with soft sounds at the top and very loud sounds at the bottom. When your audiologist tested your hearing, he or she was looking for the softest sound that you can hear at each pitch. People with normal hearing are able to hear all of the sounds on this audiogram. Here is an example of a hearing loss. The circle symbols represent responses from the right ear and the X symbols represent responses from the left ear. All sounds that fall below the threshold line can be heard. All sounds that fall above the threshold line will not be heard. Therefore, a person with this degree of hearing loss will struggle hearing people whisper and will have difficulty understanding speech because some speech sounds fall above the threshold and cannot be heard. A person with this hearing loss will also be missing environmental sounds such as birds chirping and rustling leaves. Pay special attention to the banana shape on the audiogram. This represents the sound of conversational speech. Speech is broken up into vowels and consonants. Vowels are in a low frequency range, as they correspond with the vocal energy of the speaker, while consonants that do not have voicing, such as the S or F, are in a higher frequency range. A lot of high frequency hearing losses take away that important consonant information that is needed to make speech more distinct. Hearing aids can help you regain the ability to hear many of the speech and environmental sounds that you are missing due to your degree of hearing loss. As someone with hearing loss, you may often catch yourself thinking, everyone is always mumbling, or I hear people but can't understand them. All types of hearing loss affect speech understanding. The configuration and magnitude of your hearing loss determines the difficulty of your recognizing speech. 
your hearing aid can bring back some of those speech sounds to an audible level. Although it may be easier to understand speech with your hearing aid, speech will never have the same clarity as with normal hearing due to the damage in your inner ear. Conversations in noisy environments will also be more difficult with hearing loss. When you have damage to your cochlea, sounds are not conducted properly to the brain. You can think of the cochlea and the nerve as an antenna wire in a radio. When there is damage to the antenna on the radio, the radio will be out of tune and the sound will be distorted. We're expecting sunny skies today, but look for You can increase the volume of the radio to help you catch more of the program, but the distortion will still be present. We're expecting sunny skies today, but look for some clouds. If the wiring to the antenna is intact so that there is a good signal transmission, increasing the volume on the radio provides great benefit. We're expecting sunny skies today, but look for some clouds tomorrow. A good predictor of your speech understanding is your word recognition score that you receive during your evaluation with your audiologist. The percentage score shows how clear speech was for you to understand in controlled, quiet conditions. For example, a score of 92% indicates normal ability, while a score of 72% indicates a moderate difficulty understanding speech even if it is loud enough for you to hear it. This score tells you how good your hearing wiring system is. Your hearing aid is only one step towards making speech more understandable. Amplifying sounds with your aid does not always increase intelligibility in the case of those with poor word recognition abilities. It is also your job to become a more active listener. We will talk about some active listening strategies in our chapter entitled Communication Strategies.